Hello and welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is another Unity C Sharp tutorial. So in the last video we have learned about arrays. So after that we're going to learn about another kind of loop that's named for each loop. For each loop is mainly useful whenever we are using it with arrays so that we can actually access data automatically by using the for each loop. So let's see what I'm talking about. So in case of for each loop, we mainly access each and every value of the array inside a variable and then we can display or do whatever we want with that value inside that variable. As an example, suppose I want to access all the values of this array. Now you will say that we can easily do that using a for loop. But using for each loop makes it more easier. So. Uh, so in order to create a for each loop, first of all, you have to write for each. Then inside that, first of all, you have to create the variable inside which you're going to store the value of each and every element of the array. So let's say I write int i. So that means inside the val inside the integer i, I'm going to store the values of all the elements of the array. Then you have to write in in means inside which I am actually checking and then you have to write the name of the array so here the name of the array is a double R that we have named in the previous episode now if you haven't checked the previous video about arrays I would advise you to check that because this video is dependent on that okay so here we are first of all creating a variable integer uh, variable I and then we're writing in and then we're write, writing the name of the array so that means uh, for each and every value of this array, we are storing that value inside this i variable and then we can print that value. So let's go and write debug.log and then we write the value of i. So here what will happen is, so here what will happen is, for each and every value of the array, so for array 0, array 1, array 2, for each and every value, that value will be stored inside the variable i and then that value will be printed in the console. And when the size of the array will be completed, that means if the size of the array is 5 and if we have printed the 5 values, then it will come out of this for each loop. Okay, simple. So let's see what I'm talking about. So if you can remember in the last episode we have created already an array and we have learned how we can access the size of the array directly from the inspector. So let's say here we have size 2. Let's say I make it 4. And then in these things I'm gonna print, I'm gonna keep 3 and 2 values. So now if I go and run this program and if I show it to you, you can see that all the values of the array gets printed one by one by one. 5, 6, 3, 2. These are all the values of this array. So this is how we use for each loop. It's almost similar to for loop, but it's also very efficient in case of whenever we want to access the values of an array. It's going to come very handy whenever we are doing uh, uh, practical programming. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. So thank you very, 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 very much for watching and have a great day. Thanks.